Hey guys, what's up? It's Blinkshot, and today we're going to be going over a PvP trap. Um, now, this one isn't aiming to kill with lava or arrows or anything like that. Uh, what it actually does is, um, if you're on like a server that allows factions and, stu and such, and someone was able to infiltrate your fortress, let's say this is a hallway in your fortress right here, and you were being gunned down, and let's say you were like someone was running after you. Let's say you're the Lappies block, and this is your guy running after you. Like he's catching up to you. He's a blocker or two away from you, two, three, maybe four blocks away from you. But he's speeding down to try and get you. And so you're going down this hallway, and you're just like he can't jump. No one has a speed bonus. You throw a thing in there, instantly cuts him off and he's stuck in that room. If you're in a faction server, he can't go anywhere. Maybe he can teleport to spawn, but at this point, you know, you click the help button, and I just broke the help button. Beautiful, isn't it? You just keep pushing the help button, you tell your friends, yeah, get down here, hopefully he doesn't, uh, he doesn't, um, pour it out or anything, and you just go in there when you're all ready and just kick his ass. But, um, Let's see how it works. This can be potentially a lifesaver. Um, not one of the more deadly ones that I did earlier, a little while back. But uh, let's go over in an overview of how to do it. So this was this was something I was making earlier. Um, it's, it doesn't work. I wanted to make it so it crushes people, but um, I'm having trouble with it. It'll only do that bottom layer. As you can see, I'm in a flat world, so there's a shitload of these dumb, stupid slimes. But, here's how it goes. We have the redstone connected to this top one. If it's connected to the top one, it will automatically connect to the bottom one. Alright, so then we just follow it down. We connect it to the same one over there. And we bring it to our pressure plate, which is right on this grass block right here. Let's see if you can see it right there. Our pressure, pressure plate. Note that it's wooden, so you can throw items on it. You can also stand on it if you really want to. Is made... What? Hello. Falling out of the sky much. But you all you need is redstone under it. So when it is activated, the redstone under it is activated. So we don't want just this side. We don't want just the right side activated. We want both sides, or else our victim is going to be able to run out and get to us and we don't want that because we're owning his ass in pvp come on so we bring the trail line over to the other side and this is where it's going to get a little bit more complicated because the um the redstone is so long you have to make one of these babies i forget exactly what they're called but i have like a little example right here for you first you start out with just regular redstone and then you'll put a block and put the torch facing out where the redstone is facing out it'll light up this stone as you can see over there and then you put another one the same direction facing outwards here so then when you click this button or any switch or something like that you can see over there I'll even um, I'll put a lever there and then you can walk over I'll walk over these this is off that's off and the middle is on it transfers the energy on here, off in the middle, and on back here, so as if it's continuing the circuit. So since redstone only la only goes for about 15 lines, I think, maybe 14 or 15 lines, I'm not quite sure exactly how much, I'm not really a redstone person. We implemented that here, so we only had one redstone space, we actually could have fit in an extra space there, so we just hooked up these things in the back, threw these guys on, made sure they were going the right way. If the power is coming this way, you want it facing you want it facing the back. You do not want a torch here. If the power is coming from this way, you want the torch on this side. And then it'll travel through and get to this one. And that is ultimately how you make this um locking hall system. So if you're in a faction PvP server might be really nice. You can make it in anything. It 
pre-made map, something like that, would be really nice. It'd be cool to see him implemented. I'm pretty sure it's probably been implemented before, but uh, you never know. I just thought of it. I was just playing around with redstone and decided to make a video of it. So, um, maybe you'll see more traps to come. We'll see. But, uh, until next time, get trapped. Alright guys, so we have a slime here, and I made a small addition to my trap. So if you break this redstone torch, then it releases a piston in the wall, which allows lava to flow in and kill the target somewhat quickly. I mean, lava's a little bit slow, but boom, you get the job done. You pop the torch back on, the seal goes away, the lava starts to dissipate, and it's as if nothing happened. And slimes are killing themselves. Now how to do this? I did this the extremely easy way, because I am extremely lazy, and I don't have much time. Um, since the lava's still in there, I'm going to leave that piece of emergency equipment right there. So what we did is, up here, we made a little lava area. And we just brought some redstone right there and put a redstone torch so that it powers this piston and pushes down so it acts as if it's a plug. So when that... Did I say piston? That redstone torch. And once that torch is taken away, the power is taken away, and then it bumps back up and it allows a square for the lava to flow through. Now... Although this makes a um, awkward indent in your wall, I think I would much prefer this to just trapping them and relying on my allies to get him. But once again, this is more of a faction sort of thing. It's not that bad if you think about it, but um, this is definitely a noticeable thing if someone just like, run, 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 run. They won't notice it. It's, it, they won't notice it unless they actually go there or die by the trap. They might notice it, like, last second. Then, like, you're up ahead and you're just, like, screwed. Yeah, you're screwed. You could even do it one by one. You don't even need to add these guys. Because then, he can still get you with a bow, though. So that might be a bad idea. Then it's just like, oh, oh, hitting me with a bow? Yeah, I'll just pop this torch. You're dead, then. I'll just pop this torch right here. Oh, oh, where'd that torch go? Where'd that torch go? Where'd that torch go? Now there's the lava there. But I want you to die slowly, so I'm going to stop it right now. No, that would kill him. <laughs> that would definitely kill him. But um, I hope you guys like this one. Um, I might be doing a couple more of these. Uh, I just sort of try and make whatever pops into my evil little head. So uh, until next time, guys. Later.